let's go to level two. You have to split up. Let's see how smart you are. Terra is just one way to complete this because you can stand on three pressure plates at the same time. Great standing in my face. Let's eat the cake. Don't yeah, forget eating cake. cake. Where's the cake? I'm hungry. It's yeah. gone because you stand on the pressure plate. So after first, second and third, I'll probably yeah, go up. Second. Second. And then I open the chest. There's a chest right there with uh, I think two thick oh. paper. You can come down here, put it in the dispenser that's right there. So the dispenser below? Yep. And if you put it in, I press this button. Yeah, I know. Why? Oh, no, you needed the paper. Haha, <laughs> I'll the paper on the, the pressure plate. Go, go up, please. Mwahahaha. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so good at this. I don't need one paper. That's a bit cheaty, I know. Here you go. One paper. What should I do with it? I don't know, it gets cleared out in the inventory, of course. There's cake here. And cake room? Nope, no cake room. Welcome to this video of Behind the Blocks a room of 2 for 1. We are in room 2 this time. We already talked about room 1 and the spawn area, so we're going to talk about room 2. So room 2 is the one with the two wooden pressure plates and the stone uh, pressure plate, the dispenser, a pattern, and that's about it. So, uh, this level isn't quite complicated in redstone, as you may have guessed. Let's just wiring up this pressure plate when activated. Oppa. It activates the wire below, and that runs to a piston, and that put that block up there. And then, and up. And also that block right there. That's just the wire going to that piston. For the other one, it's also a piston, as you can see. Uh, for that one, there's the ch chest. It's a little bit more fancy because there's not only a piston in front of it, there's also one on top of it. Because if you were able to uh, open chest, yeah, you need to have a non solid block on top of it. Uh, you could use glass or glowstone for that, but I just we decided to do uh, an iron block. So when now uh, the power. There is somebody on that pressure plate. The power will come through this line, the third line. Go to this torch, turn this torch off, which retract both pistons and make make you able to get the paper out of the chest. For that's that. Uh, for the dispenser, there's also just a wire. I just broke one. Or something like this. Doesn't really matter. But if you press the button. This wire just goes to the dispenser. That's how easy it is. Just wiring those up. That's not really difficult levels. For the buttons. This button. Oh, yeah, that's why I, we broke, you know. When I said we broke something, that's that wire. Ah. Uh, this wire is running like that way. So if we press this, let me do a quick test. Oh, we removed the piston, probably. Yeah, we removed the piston. So let's grab us a new piston and put it back so you can see how it works. I think that's not what it should be. Still not. Why it's not working? Um, we have to remove that one. Probably. So it would look something like this, and when you press that button, the torch gets turns off and retract the piston so you can walk through. For this one the door stays open. Uh, this is made by an, an infinity loop with a repeater like so. Uh, the reason why this gate is here because otherwise two people would c be able to come here and you will be stuck in a level and I didn't want to do that. So we did it that. Uh, the doors is basically the same system like the stations before. Uh, this is doors uh, that both pressure plates need to be triggered. There's basically an end gate behind that. If you're fast enough and you are on your own, I know it's possible. Just let me do it. Run to the other side and it also open. Uh, because the game thinks you are on both pressure plates at the same time, you need some funny mechanics to cancel that out. 
but I didn't. So it is basically an end gate, and that's about it. That's the level two. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.